John Hart at the plate. Calvin Castine at the West Plattsburgh American Legion field. Looks like Alan Babby on the pitching rubber. Alan was in the, uh, I believe, I'd have to find that tape. That's a fair ball John Hart's going to reach. We'll get back to... Uh, We'll get back to uh, Alan Babby in a moment. We got Bob St. John. This is American Legion 912 against American Legion Pulse 20. This is the second game of a possible three game tournament. Everybody say. <laughs> Legion 912 earlier lost to 1619. 1618 was supposed to be here to play close 20, but they weren't able to get their squad. So that was Alan Kaufman. So they uh, decided the uh, the powers that be here in this uh, friendly old timers tournament that they would play the Legion 9-12 uh, against uh, Pulse 20, then 16-19 uh, would probably play Pulse 20 after. We have enough rain here, sir. Uh, can you bring it down this is uh, the 26th day of June, 2010. My buddy Bob Venn's 82nd birthday, if you were still with us. And it's been a rainy day most of the day. It's a Saturday. I've got the annual Shazy Central Rural School Alumni Banquet uh, later tonight. Kaufman has drawn a walk and bags are full. Butch Proctor telling Alan Patty how to pitch. Here's uh, Janier. Brian Janier hits it hard to short. I think they're going to go try for new. Left handed Dave Mayette at second. And it's going to be a run scored. That's why that's why left-handers don't play second. That pivot is a killer. So Janier, Brian Janier reaches. Now they got Tim McDonough. And uh, Rob McDonough coming on deck, it looks like. This is all for the benefit of uh, veterans charities there today. Unfortunately, it's another one of our rainy Saturdays we're having this year in the North Country. Uh, back at the uh, 250th uh, anniversary of Point of Fair Battle, Butch Proctor makes the put out. That's out number two. Rob St. John's going to score. <laughs> and Janier stays, uh, stays at second base. And uh, we had the big drizzle there at uh, June 5th in Rouse's Point, uh, Point of Fair. And that, uh, on the 12th, we had the the rain at uh, Leon, uh, uh, Leeward Babbies. Here's Rob McDonough. Getting back to Alan Babby, he was uh, the pitcher in one of the earliest softball games, I believe he was a pitcher because he pitched for a transborder. Uh, one of the earliest softball games that we ever taped back in 1983. So June of 83, I think he was on our first show. We mentioned many times the um, the Peru and Northeastern uh, Championship game in Section 7 in softball that we that is the first event we taped. But I think the first men's league game that we taped had Alan Babby on the pitching rubber. I'll have to find that tape one of these days and verify that. Who can forget their bright yellow uniforms? At Whoa, Rob McDonough. Uh, he's got a lot of understanding from his, his teammates here. He had a couple of struck out in that first game. Jim Shinver and Tom Juno are not <laughs> are not laughing at him. They're laughing with him. Inside. Here comes Buzzy. Let's see. The catcher is Chuck Depot. Doctors at first, Mets at second. There's a hard hit ball through the middle. Shortstop is a Lee Smith from post eight in Malone. There's a ringer, I guess. 
Uh, fellow from Malone here at shortstop, base hit for McDonough. Uh, I didn't see what happened with Dave Mayette. I didn't see it. So <laughs> he's Gene Kelsey. That's a ball. Dollar Bill will be hit to third base. You'll never catch it. Don't worry about it. Uses his feet. Flash Barnaby in the club. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Third base is Fuzzy Bruno. The outfield, no particular order. You got Mark Harkness, uh, Dale McMahon. Kelsey swings and misses. Uh, John Dion, who's on the Ross's Point team, actually, and uh, Gary Briette. Ralph's point has three runs here in the first. That's all they scored last game. This has popped up. Foul. Tim McDonough throws a different ball. <laughs> it's not the game the ball they were using. <laughs> Just it makes believe he's caught it that way, I guess. And that's going to drop in. Going to drop in. And Kelsey is on. Two strikeouts last game. Steve Barcom. An offensive threat. Two outs, two outs. Oh. Line shot, one hopper to short, throw to second. May it comes up with it. Well, three rounds for Rouse's point. We're going to the bottom of the first here on Viewer Sport at Hometown Cable. We got uh, Fuzzy Bruno at the plate, leading off the bottom of the first. John Hart on the pitching rubber. Legion nine. 12 on the field, post 20 at bat. Shorty Amal is uh, the umpire. American Legion Old Timer Tournament here at 1619. Seems to be Just like the way you can't run and he can't catch. He's got a lot. Popped up. Big three. One down. All right, Lee Smith from uh, Malone. He's got his batting helmet on. He's expecting a high, hard one here from Hart. Here's a duel. Here's a duel. Strike. Two short. McDonough to Kaufman. They got him. Two down. We got Mark Harkness. He's played in two other games. Never had a hit. Hit too short, and McDonough knocks it down. Harkness will reach. Uh, there's Butch Proctor. And there's a pitch from Hart. Oh, Rob McDonough. Scooping it up. We're going to go to the second inning. 3 0. Rouse's point leading. Adrian Fitz at the plate. Leading off the second inning. Former mailman in Rouse's point for a long time. Let's see if he'll deliver right now. Strike. First uh, met Adrian when he got out of the military and worked at uh, Sheridan for a while. Whoa! Put all his body in that one. 
Starting to pour real good right now. Yep, up, up. Go to first and Fitz is safe as Proctor can't get a handle on it. And it's pouring, it's pouring right now. And Jenneru now, Dale Jenneru. Pitch from Babby. Strike one. Strike two, swing at anything. Looks like Tim McDonough is running for Adrian Fitz. And the pitch. Lower the lighting here, getting washed out here. Three nothing in a second. Strike three. Jenneru joins the list of strikeout victims. Now we're back to the top of the order. It's John Hart. And I just noticed, yes, that is a wooden bat they're using there. Not sure if they got any, uh, it has aluminum there, but there's a wooden bat that they're using. It doesn't look like there's any tape on it. Tim McGonna dancing at first base here. Look at the slop in that infield. It's dangerous enough for these old timers out there as it is without the <laughs> running in the slop. Popped up to behind third, and Hart will hustle into first. Oh, here's Bob St. John. Line shot to third, no advance. Good play. That's uh, fuzzy there at third, huh? Two outs, and Alan Kaufman ready to poke it out of the infield. And Bobby chirping at the crowd here. Head to the left side. Short toss to third for the force. That's the inning. Nothing across for Rouse's point. We're going to the bottom of the second here on viewer supported hometown cable. We got Gary Briette up for post 9 12. Looks like Jim Shinbear has come in for Adrian Fitz. We're in the bottom of the second. 3 0 Rouse's point leading. Post 9-12, leading post 20. The rain is letting up. Uh, to McDonough. <laughs> Safe at first. Most of these guys have sneakers on, and this, uh, this kind of slop in sneakers is very dangerous. There's Dave Mayette. There's a... I think his hat's older than he is. Hart delivers. That was a strike. Foul. That's going to swing at anything here. Hit to Kaufman. Nice grab there, Alan. <laughs> uh, he was slipping and sliding, but he uh, kept his footing. Two down. Or is that one down? Here's uh, Dave McMahon. Strike one. Let's hit to third. To first double play. Tim McDonough to Brian Janair to Alan Kaufman. Tinkers to Evers to Chance for you Cubs fans from 1907. We're going to the third inning. Ross's point leading 3 0. There's 
And Janair is at the plate. Ryan, I think. Swing and a miss. Rouse's point leading 3 0 in the top half of the third inning pitch from Babby. There's a shot. And left field. Nice catch. One down. Uh, there's Tim McDonough, former Dartmouth catcher. Had the pleasure of bringing Tim to Olympic Stadium to meet uh, Jim Beatty back when Beatty was the uh, general manager there. And I said to, I should say to meet him to. Uh, Renew acquaintances with him. Jim Beatty was the pitcher at Dartmouth when Tim McDonough was the catcher there. Beatty went on to have a fine major league career and uh, and uh, ended up as general manager in Montreal for a while, then left there and I can't remember where he went. But uh, back around 98 or so, we put Jim in the, uh, Tim in the car and went up and met Jim at Beatty. And they were. Happy to see each other. They hadn't seen each other since college days. Here's Rob McDonough now. Tim's uh, baby brother. Far, you might get a little bit more. Go in the car. Into the third base, there's a bounty on him. Fouls it into the cement in front of the dugout. Almost knocked down the beer. Wow. Going bowling, bowling for beer. Payoff pitch. Popped up. Look at he's looking at it. He's looking at it. Oh. He's a traitor. Uh oh, fair ball. Fuzzy Wuzzy better be ready. Through the left side to be able. Base hit for Rob McDonough. Now we got Gene Kelsey. Strike one. Strike two. Strike three. Kelsey goes down whiffing. A long walk back to the dugout. Long walk back for Gene Kelsey. Going to the bottom of third, still holding it, 3 0. Here's John Dion. He, uh, he uh, joined the Legion 20 squad here from the post 912, but he joined the Legion 20 squad, so they'd have a full 10 man. Squad out there. Bottom of the third. Three nothing. Rouse's point leads. That's popped up. Fair ball. Fair ball. Uh, there's Alan Babby. I'll do some grooming first there. After all that raking, <laughs> they left a puddle there for a catcher of St. John to stand in. Strike. Strike. Babby looking for a free pass. He's gets out. one. Oh. He gets oh, one. No, I oh. uh, got Chuck Depot. I think he's one of the organizers. Slow comeback to Hart. He's going to go to second. Get the middle one. Throw to first. Depot is doubled. Now we got Fuzzy Bruno, third baseman. Strike one. 
Well, he made contact. The discharge papers, but he... Oh, hit him, hit him. Oh, no. Sorry, Carol. Slow rollers going to be safe. Nobody will get him there. Makes it 3-1. Now Lee Smith from Malone. Two outs here in the third. Pitch to Smith. And it's a base hit. Going to put the potential tying run on board for Pulse 20. Oh, Mark Harkness. Mark Harkness. Strike one. Rob McGonagh grabs, that's the third out. So it's 3 1 after 3 full. We're going to the fourth on Viewer Sport at Home Down Cable. And hockey, you got the Zamboni driver. <laughs> Slow pitch, you got Dave Champagne with a wheelbarrow. Whoever's, whoever's running the clock, uh, the scoreboard uh, decided to move this to the fifth inning. It's only the fourth. Steve Barcombe at the plate. 3-1 to score. Barcombe chops it to third. Oh, no. Barcombe is down. Jim Shinbear now. We uh, have to stop the camera there. Hopefully we got rid of that. Language announcer is uh, colorful, a little too colorful sometimes. I'm sure he's donating his time and uh, trying to entertain the crowd, but we have a All I know is Steve little different standard kind of on hometown cable than, <laughs> than it would Nobody sitting out in the Carter. parking lot with a bunch of men. That's you in your head. Shenbera hits it to foul territory. Foul tip. That was ball four. Shenbear is on. Tom Juno. A base hit for Tom Juno. Now we got Lester Mumley. Smith. Get the fourth and second. Runners at the corners for Jim Winnegar. Not down. What a stop at third. Wait a minute. Winnegar is down. He's down. He fell down. <laughs> <laughs> he fell down in that slot. Bruno made a heck of a stop, and that's all he could do. He couldn't get up. Jim Winnegar couldn't get up. Whoever stood up first was going to win that one. Winnegar gets an RBI. Uh, to Proctor, I have to check this guy's name here. Uh, I'll get back to you when we start the next inning with this guy's name. I'm gonna send you over here. I think that was George Black who made that last out. I uh, don't know all the guys in the 912 team. I think that is George Black. Another one I don't know is uh, Larry Brown, but I think he's a fellow coaching at third. I think that's Black. Dave Champagne is all but obliterated, totally obliterated the uh, first baseline there. He's 
trying to dry things out. But the umpire ML is going to have to pay close attention to know where the first baseline is. There's Butch Proctor. Son of Pickles, brother of Judy and Pete and other Proctors. Uh, hits it up the middle. 4-1 to score. Here's uh, Gary Brayett. Hits it to third. Throw to first will not be in time. Good play by Valenzi at third base. Now we got Dave Mayette. Swing away, young man. It's a foul ball. Foul ball, Davis. Hey, go, Davis! foul. No, calling it fair. Calling it fair. No foul from here. Terrible. That call could. Uh, this is a Dave McMahon. Oh, uh, Dale McMahon. Dale McMahon. Base hit. 4 2. Now here's John Dion. Janair couldn't come up with it. Bags are full. Dion is on. Neon Dion is at first. They have corrected the scoreboard, put it as the fourth inning, not the fifth. Here's Alan Babby. Babby hits the first. Black goal up. Two down. Run scores. 4 3. Chuck Depot with two ducks on the pond. Two outs. Big at bat for the Chuckster. Two outs. Going deep, Depot hits it to first. Nobody covering. Where's uh, Mumley? Depot's going to drive in the tying run. Top of the order now, Fuzzy Bruno. That's a fair ball. <laughs> And the bags were not full. I just <laughs> couldn't quite figure out why, uh, was a grown man hit why uh, McMahon was running, but he was running. That's 4-4. Four, four. After 4, we're going to the fifth here on Viewer Supported Hometown Gable. Hit the ball past six inches. Come on, buddy. Hit it to third base. There's a beer in it for you. Here's Janier. Brian Janier at the plate leading off the fifth inning in a tie ball game. And there's a third, there's a beer in it for you. Beautiful ball, it's good catch. There's a bounty on you. Oh. That's a fair ball. And is on, he's going to look for two. Sneaking up behind Mayette, he'll be in there. This is the commander? Alan Kaufman. The ex-commander. Ex-commander. Now we call him retired. That's it. Oh, Bruno does the split and Kaufman will reach. Look like a hockey goal in that one at third. There's Tim McDonough. Tim chops it back to Babby. He's looking for two. They won't get it. 9 12 trying to figure out who's up. Trying to figure out who's up. <laughs> and they've decided it's going to be Rob McDonough. Runners at the corners, tie ball game. And the pitch. Nice try. He yanks it out of play. Strike one. Let's check it. Uh oh, uh oh, Chuck is on it. Little high, little high. 
Foul ball. Well, that's deep. Nice, nice. Nice. It's going to be a base hit. This will drive in the go ahead run. Uh, McDonough, after fouling off a bunch, comes through. Festus would have been proud. Steve, just take your time. When you use your headlines. Uh, Steve Barcombe. Hit up the middle. Barcom with the. No. McDonough's forced out at second. Runners have to be careful with this greasy field. So McDonough's out. Good heads up play to get him. Two down and Jim Shinbear. That's a base hit. Shinbear comes through. I'll make it 6 4. Now we got Tom Juno. There's a loss here. We know who to blame it on. Nice hit. It's a base hit. Load the bases. Be careful, Steve. There, you're on third now. Have a little trouble with the bases. Ah, the pride of the Alberg Beavers, Lester Mumley. Hey, got to stop one all day. He is still chucking them. Over to Proctor for the out. So it's 6 4 going to the bottom of the fifth in a five inning ball game. Look at the old boy play. See him pick it up. Lee Smith is going to lead off the bottom of the fifth. His team down by two. Lester Mumley on the pitching rubber. He delivers. Ross's point, American Legion, post 9 12, leading post 20 off the glove of Tim McDonough. Uh, Mark the Hark Harkness. It's going to go all the way to the fence. They'll put in their eight man relay to get that ball in. And we're going to have a tie ball game. There's Butch Proctor. Nobody out. Tie game. Plus 20 needing a run to win the, win the game. And Proctor comes through. And gets away in left field. Proctor has never had an inside the park homer. He's going to try to stretch it to three. Look at him go. Well, Gary Briette, a chance to drive in the winning run, a walk off, won't hit to win the game, but excitement. He'll get a pie. A pie in the face if he does it. <laughs> I'm going to give him an intentional pass. Mumbley will have none of that. He's, I'm going to pitch to him. Uh, Dave Mayette, a lefty hitter. He's going to try to hit it on the ground. There he does. He does it. It's a game winner. He's out. <laughs> He's out. Get the game winning out. A walk-off out to win the game. A walk-off out to win the game, Dave Mayette. No pie for that. Oh, he come from behind. 6-5 victory. Post 20 defeats. Legion post 9-12 from Rouse's Point. And that's the way it was in American Legion round robin tournament at the West Plattsburgh American Legion Field 16-19. Thanks for watching for those of you. We understand this is viewer supported local television hometown cable win lose or draw this is tv worthy of your support hometown cable
Everyone, we should be 